Hey guys, this is Sam Hansen from Pro Power Egg. I just wanted to make a quick video today explaining um, the features and kind of how it can tie into a, uh, your operation. Uh, so basically what we did was we started with a big uh, chemical performance database of about 12,500 different data points. We have about 185 different chemicals and about 95 different weeds in the program. Um, all that information is stored in these three blades to the right here. One, two, three, broke down into chemicals, weeds, and then broke down um, by the crop. So basically what this program will help do is um, our goal for the program is to simplify the weed control process. So we'll basically start with a problem and a solution um, over here, work our way this way build out a recommendation based off of what weeds are in your field, save it to the field, um, save it, um, make a PDF, print it off, save that PDF, whatever you want to do, and then um, get it into uh, the hands of the grower or save it onto your computer or send it with your sprayer operator. Okay, so we'll just go through these one at a time, going right to left, starting with crops. So basically in this sheet, you'll select what crop you're going after. Um, if you're doing pre or post, all the data in this program is based off pre-emerge or post-emerge, and you'll see that kind of as we go through these. So basically in here, what we'll do is we will put in different weeds, um, and then this chart down here will actually be um, ordered from best to worst based off of what's labeled uh, for corn basically so if we do kosha we'll just put a couple in here if we do kosha lambs quarter and then maybe let me try cocklebur so if we're doing corn pre-emerge kosha lambs quarter cocklebur this chart goes from best to worst here based off of everything we've got in the program. Uh, the first place is gonna be Acheron, so we'll just click on that, and then that will show up right down here. And then we'll look at a couple more options. We'll maybe compare Acheron to Sure Start. Um, maybe compare that to, let's compare that to Caprino. So I just clicked on all those. All that information comes down here. Um, obviously this gray space is nothing. This is Kosha. Lamb's quarter, cocklebur, nothing. So we want this space to be as small as possible, meaning there's um, the least amount of room for error basically there. So we got Acuron in first, sure start, second, Caprino in third. And then down here, we can just kind of use this to compare these different herbicides um, head to head. Um, so you can do it quickly. You can do it um, as accurately as, as possible. These are all 95 over here for Acuron. Um, so, you know, you could say Sure Start is going to fall a little bit short on Kosha, a little bit short on the Cocklebur. Caprino is going to do pretty good, but it's not really going to hold up very well to Cocklebur, which is why I was so far down the list. So, this is just a tool to basically be able to visually um, understand what is going on with these um, chemicals, why are they performing certain ways, you know, do they have little holes in them. As you can see here, you know, Resicor has a big hole in, you know, Kosha, it looks like. It looks like it just doesn't perform um, as good as, you know, maybe Acheron would on Kosha. Okay, then we'll go into the Weeds tab. And in here we basically select from any of the weeds that we have. Um, and then it'll come up on an, and again, post-emerge, pre-emerge basis. Um, basically what you're looking at here <clears throat> basically what you're looking at here is just the chart of all the chemicals we have there was sure start um, Wolverine advanced and all this and this down here is basically the exact same thing as this chart up here so it's just in order of how good it is um, how good each of these different products are for this weed over here is another scale based off of active ingredient so we got really good ratings for glyphosate phenoxaprop clethodem um, you know obviously those are all going to do pretty good on barnyard grass where you really kind of save a lot of time in here is one highlighting different chemicals to look at so affinity broad spec both on pre and um, 
post emerge here. Both got 53 there. And you can do as many as you want in here. Um, and where you really kind of save time and really jump to solutions quick is by coming in here and selecting uh, what crop you want. And this filters everything down by the crop. So now we're basically, if, we're, if we got barnyard grass in our barley, we basically got a couple choices here uh, to control it. Of course, you got your axials, your parity, and then Wolverine Advance also does a pretty good job. And these are all basically just lower ratings uh, stuff there. Again, down here is basically just the same as up here. And then you got your pre-emerge options as well. Okay, so now we'll filter it down by the chemical. And then in here is basically, again, all of our chemicals. Uh, you can select based off of active ingredient. If you want to open up just active ingredients, you can also select all those here. So if we select mesotrione, these are all the products containing mesotrione in the program. Um, these ratings are based off of the performance of these. Um, and over here is basically just like a little chart to say um, what commonly associated active ingredients are. Um, so basically you got s 38% of these also contain s -metolachlor. Okay, so if we just go back to our Acuron, we'll be able to see some basic information, company, um, the label. If that comes up here. Yep, we got the Acuron label. Uh, the use rate, this is completely customizable to you guys. We start out at a certain rate and then you'll go through and you'll change it to whatever you want to do. This gives a really accurate um, price per acre and kind of just makes the program a little bit more yours. Uh, the active ingredients, how much is in the product, so you kind of get that as well. And then just all the ratings pre and post emerge here. Again, highlight by different weeds and then it'll, um, it'll pop up just like that. So benefits of just those pages, um, you know, younger guys coming right out of college that might not know, you know, all this, all these chemicals um, really gets to be, you know, good insight for them and kind of how they perform, kind of get a feel for the products. More experienced guys um, like it because it's a little bit more insightful than, you know, we've really seen as an industry and, you know, when it comes to this stuff, you know, no one's a complete ace at all this stuff. So it's kind of nice just to be able to go through these, um, you know, in your off time, or if you have a certain specific problem, you can jump right in, get your information and get out. Okay. So now we will just make a recommendation in this tab here and we'll save it to the field over here. And then we'll show you what that PDF will kind of look like too. <clears throat> okay, so basically I went through and already put in the farm, the field, um, select the price sheet that we're going to use, um, soybean pre-emerge, and then just some grasses and some broad leaves here. So we'll pretty much just press this button here and that will try to solve this problem over here. It'll try to solve um, what would be the best product to put down on this field. You can also manually add in products and you can do that at any time and we'll do that um, in a second here. So we'll just click on that and the program chose Zidua Pro. It does okay on Wild Oat. Wild Oat is kind of a tough one. So the rating isn't very high, but if we click in here, I don't think the ratings are gonna be very high for anything. So if we click in there, you can see it brought us right to the weeds tab here, um, Wild Oat. So we can just kind of, just for a realistic example, we can, you know, just like this problem, you know, we got wild oat, why did it choose Zidua Pro? We can either come in here and choose Zidua Pro, or we can do what I was doing, click weeds, wild oat, filter it down by soybean, um, go to the pre-emerge, and you know, you can see you got Zidua, Zidua Pro, Sonalan, Treflan. Um, all up in here so you can see that we kind of want something right in this zone anything after that is going to be fall down pretty hard when it comes to all these ones so that's why it chose this one is because it was kind of up towards the top tier here and it also controlled everything else pretty good 
and it's priced pretty good um, for our program. So again, you can change the rate to you know whatever you want. Everything else is going to change. Um, then we can also compare different chemistries in here. So we could maybe compare it to an authority product. So we got authority elite in there. Maybe we want to do more like a more like a sonic. So we can compare and contrast um, all of these different products. Okay, so after comparing a couple of these products, say we just want to keep going with the Zigio Pro for this situation. Now what we can do is we can add other products, whatever we want. We can make all that stuff in the price sheet. If we just select the price sheet that we're using, add products, basically you just add in what what's the product name, how much does it cost, and what's the use rate. Um, and you can also come in here and edit any of these. We can name this whatever we want to as well and delete anything we want. Okay, so all of our stuff is still here. So we're going to do Zidual Pro. Let's say we want to add it with some AMS. And let's say we also want to put in M an MSO. Um, change the rate to whatever you want and you got your price per acres there and basically let's just say these are the weeds in the field and basically we're ready to go we got our chemicals for our soybean pre we got our products extra products that we're going to put in with it we can save that to field this is going to be soybean pre it's going to be the soybean pre Application stage is pre-emerge. You know the date is going to be um, whatever you want to make it. You know maybe we'll make it uh, you know April seventeenth just because. Save the changes and now that is in our field. We were working in Hanson Farm Westfield, so we'll just go right over there. View history and this is going to be where all those. Uh, places where we just saved that's where this is going to go right in here so we got our soybean pre-emerge pass um, and I guess I should know that you can use you can use this um, guys use this for a lot of different reasons they use this um, for planning you know you can do first pass second pass pre-emerge you know if you're doing more like a liberty system or glyphosate system or whatever you want to do um, so you can really plan stuff out in here you can have different um, options you can have pre-emerge option one pre-emerge option two and then you'll be able to have the price of everything the weeds um, how good it should perform and the different products so you can actually help uh, plan stuff out but for this situation we're just going to be going in order um, for the whole year so we're going to do pre-emerge and then our um, post-emerge passes are uh, ready to go too so basically when we open this up, we basically just got our list of weeds that we already went through. Um, and we got all of our products here. Then we got this data matrix down here that'll show um, a little bit uh, of insight of how good it's gonna do. So basically we'll do um, our gallons per acre of water. So say we want 15 gallons per acre. Say our sprayer tank size is a 1200 gallon tank. And if you saw that, it just populated our product per load here and that's based off of this 80 acres per load right here and you know once you change this this stuff up here obviously will change too but say we just want to do 15 gallons um, notes use a drift aid as needed just so the applicator or whoever's doing it knows so basically we got um, all of our weeds covered as best as they can be while though what we saw was a little bit tough uh, we got our AMS we got our MSO for 20 bucks an acre basically um, now what we can do is we can change uh, the mix order of this and basically all we do is we just drag and drop these wherever they need to be and for this one we're gonna just put it like that uh, we can change the rate last minute if we want whatever we want to do um, we can change the units on this. So if we want to go by ounces instead of pounds for whatever reason, we can do that. Uh, if you want to do quarts instead of gallons, you know, if, the, if 35 pints makes more sense to this guy, instead of um, 4.38 gallons, we can change that. And that's just a simple conversion there. 
So we made a couple changes here, so we're actually going to just save this, save successful. The guy pulls up with his pickup truck, we're going to turn this into a PDF, we're going to print it out, we're going to give it to him so he has everything he needs. This is where you can select your logo, and that'll be right at the top. We're going to put a field summary, which includes this. The spray application includes a line for um, an applicator to sign his name, his applicator license number, and all that stuff. But if we're giving it to a grower, we might just want to have a field summary on there with uh, this data. And that you just select that and then click uh, generate PDF, and then it'll all um, be there for you. And this is exactly what the PDF is going to look like. The only difference is your logo is going to be up on the top here. Uh, you got spaces for people to put in information for their records. Crop info, we got soybean pre-emerge. Uh, we named it soybean pre, we can name it whatever we want. We got Hanson Farm, the West Field, that's 112 acres, and then all of our data, all of our mix order is in the right mix order. You got the rate, product you need per load, product total, the prices that gets added up, the total. Um, and then our little data matrix down here. And this is a feature that um, a lot of guys are using very well. Um, it's a nice professional looking um, printout that you can make. You can save it to your desktop. You can do whatever you want here. Then your logos is going to be up here um, once you upload that image too. So overall uh, benefits of the program, you got the data part over here. This will save a little bit of time, give you a little bit Further insight, you can generate a recommendation, compare products, uh, do different combinations of things, see how stuff will react, use our algorithm, um, put everything in, save it to the field. Now you got records of everything. You can, um, you know, you'll have a good idea of what weeds are in that field for next year, what you sprayed in that field uh, f the prior year, and. Um, yeah, it's a good program to kind of keep track of everything and also have some more insights on um, what we're doing in the spray tank a little bit. So.